this is my workbench it's in a one car garage shop and there's a problem it's only 28 inches this way and I only have access to one and the ends a little bit so if I'm working on a tabletop that is five feet long I don't have any support out here for it now I've tried putting a sawhorse out here but that thing is just in the way so I've come up with an idea that I think will make this much more usable and give me more support out here so let me show you what I've got in mind the first thing I've done is I've marked four spots across the back of the bench and I'm going to drill those out and install these threaded inserts after I've drilled the hole I'm going to countersink it just a little bit then I'll screw in the insert I put some beeswax on this to help it go in a little bit easier and the countersink will allow it to drop just below the top of the bench. Now I've got a nice flat surface with an insert in there. I've taken a 2 before, sliced it in half and then I've drilled a hole in the end and countersunk it. I've got these nice long screws that will go through there, drop in. And then I'll take them and mount them here, take my little Allen wrench and tighten them down. And I can mount these in four different places across here. The nice thing about this, these will also pivot like this so I can get any configuration I want. And what I've done is I've covered these with packing tape so I can do a glue up on here and the glue won't stick to this. So I can set this wherever I need for a glue up and it's also high enough that my clamps can slide under the panel and then tip up and tighten up. And when I don't need my entire bench, they pivot out of the way. This is going to work great for me. I hope maybe this will help inspire you to come up with something a little bit different. If you do, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.